Well, if you want to mediate, the first thing to do, I would say, is pick up the phone and talk to a mediator, and they will tell you how it works. Uh, essentially what you do is that you and your spouse go to see a mediator who is like a referee and although you have your own agenda, you have whatever issues are relevant to you, be it about children or finances, the, the mediator will help you sort those out and will take them one at a time so that each of you has your say and that's very important. And there are probably three or four sessions, so for example in the first uh, mediation session You'll be setting the scene, you'll be uh, understanding what the issues are and talking about them in general terms. If it's finances, the second session might be going through the finances in detail. So what's in the bank accounts, how do the pensions work and so on. And maybe the third and fourth will then be looking how do you allocate those uh, resources? Who should get what maintenance? Uh, what, how do you uh, pay for the children and their university education or whatever it is? And at the end, you then come to an understanding and that's when you'd go to see a lawyer to take advice on that and have it written up into some form of agreement or a court order. And at what point is the best moment to bring in a solicitor? Well, personally, I mean, I, I practice as a mediator as well. I always encourage clients to see uh, a solicitor right from the word go. So they should understand what the legal framework is within which they're discussing these things, understand what their rights are, and just have some idea as to what they should be aiming for. That's really helpful. And when is mediation not suitable? Well, it's not suitable in every case. I mean, sometimes uh, the breakdown of a marriage can be so fraught. If there's domestic violence, for example, it's, it's almost impossible to mediate or very, very difficult. Uh, if there is uh, personality um, clashes that are so momentous that you can't really sit in the same room or feelings, massive feelings of betrayal, then not for mediation. But for most cases, it's, 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 a, it's a runner. And what about the costs? How does that compare with other forms of help? It's probably the most cost-effective uh, way of sorting things out, and that's why the government is, is so keen to back it at the moment. Uh, it's because lawyers aren't involved in that process directly. Uh, you're, you're doing it for yourselves most of all, uh, although there may be a lawyer mediator, but at least then you're sharing the expense of that, and you're doing a lot of the work yourself, so it helps to keep the cost down. Probably the most cost-effective method of all, therefore.